Also on 7 this noon, a county commissioner among those calling for answers after Hard Rock Stadium was stormed by soccer fans, causing chaos at the Copa America final. 7's Daniel Garcia is live with what he had to say. Daniel. Ethan, an embarrassment and a failure Sunday night. Commissioners during their public meeting this morning chose not to speak about that chaos, though one commissioner did speak with us about his disappointment and what he is requesting from county leaders. They decided to, yes, open up the gates and let people in without checking them for tickets. Mayhem at the stadium. Oh my God. What was supposed to be a night of sports was upstaged and labeled as a night of embarrassment at the Hard Rock Stadium. Unruly fans without tickets barreling their way through the gates and running past cops, scaling walls and getting in through the vents, leaving fans with tickets locked out. We paid close to $1,400 for each seat. They were climbing on top of the stadium to try to get inside, and it was, it was really clear that there was no security whatsoever stopping it at all. Obviously, the optics are not the best, uh, but, but more importantly, uh, I just think it's clear that we were not prepared for it. Miami-Dade County Commissioner Juan Carlos Bermudez originally requested that the security at the Copa America final be discussed during today's meeting, but that request was denied. So he sent a second memo requesting to convene a private meeting with the mayor and commission to talk about those failures. We have to acknowledge there was a problem, number one, and number two, learn from that. And number three, then prepare. Although the stadium has hosted large events like the Super Bowl, Commissioner Bermudez agrees the passion of international soccer fans is different. Miami-Dade police says 27 people were arrested, including Colombian Football Federation President Ramon Hesarun. You were arrested for three counts of battery. <laughs> Commissioner Bermudez says Sunday night's Copa chaos was a test of what's to come for the World Cup, a test that was failed. We need to discuss this and obviously some of the things that cannot be discussed publicly, such as security preparations are fine, but we need to feel confident that we're going to hold a world class event like like uh, the World Cup, then we need to have better preparation. So now it appears as though the stadium and the organizers are pointing the finger at each other. Yesterday, Coleman Bowl, the organizer for the tournament released a statement saying that they put forth a list of protocols and recommendations for the Hard Rock to implement for the security purposes of the event that they say were not taken into account. Well, today, this morning, the Hard Rock responded saying they more than exceeded those recommendations. They implemented them. And so now what happened? Who is at fault and what is being done to fix it? That all remains to be seen. Reporting live in downtown Miami, I'm Danielle Garcia, 7 News.